it wasn't until John and I met each other that I thought, wow, you know, we could do shows for kids. And it's actually a pretty great world. My full name is Kathy McClellan. I became very interested in theatre when I was in high school and I got to be in the school play and that was really fun. And then I went to university and I studied theatre at university and uh, then I was an actor here in Ottawa doing various jobs and uh, when I met John we decided to start our own company and uh, we both loved kids and doing shows for kids and starting our own company just gave us an opportunity to be in control of everything. Oh, John is my husband, John Nolan, and he's my uh, partner in crime. He and I do all, all our shows together. We've been working together for 40 years. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just do the one more thing and then you do your thing. Okay. That's, we think the arts are really important to kids. To, to, the idea of being creative, having a life, being able to live a creative life is really important. I think so many kids see adults that don't, maybe don't like their work. But we actually love the work. We are very excited to do what we're doing. But I thought I had two. Oh, oh, there's my favorite. It's like my heart is connected to their heart. I, I say something, I see their little faces reflecting my emotion. When something's funny, they're laughing. Really, there's nothing better than hearing a group of kids laugh. Or to see them looking thoughtful because you've said something that might be provoking some new thought. I guess you could think of the music as another voice. So there's John and I and the music. And the music, uh, our musician Russell have plays so many different instruments, so it's always a different voice coming in. And also the music really contributes to the mood. Again, with the wolves making their long journey north, the call of the wild. Russell singing that beautiful song. And the kids get quiet to listen to the music and to think about things. And then there's other parts where the music is quite fast and certainly funny music can really add to a funny moment. There is a poet, William Butler Yeats, and he wrote a poem called The Circus Animal's Desertion. And in this poem, he goes through different things that might inspire his next poem. And, but all of those things are, are uh, superficial things, like circus animals. And in the end, he says he has to go to the rag and bone shop of his heart to find really meaningful ideas. And in England, a rag and bone shop is like a secondhand store. So it's not like the objects are really glitzy and expensive objects. They're, they're maybe poor objects, but they inspire your heart and meaningful connections. Woof, 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 woof! Oh, <laughs>